son of a bitch. Hi. It was very interesting the way you woke up cursing. A large percentage of attempted suicides wake up with exclamations of hostility. Well. Ninety-two percent of the mass death. You're in La Playa. The nut house? That's a cruel label. We prefer booby hedge. You a doctor? Oh no. Me? No. I'm a patient. Marlon Joseph Baronki, paranoid schizophrenic, deep feelings of inferiority, alternating with delusions of grandeur. Hi. 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 Uh, Sonny Lawson. Real estate. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Didn't you used to be on television selling land somewhere? Yeah. Yes, I used to watch you. Uh, Lake Crest Estates, right? You didn't buy a lot there, did you? I swear to God there was a lake there. I swear to God there was a lake there! I, I, I don't buy land from television. I'm crazy, but uh, I'm not that crazy, you know? A real TV star. How'd I get here? I can't get over it. Sonny Lawson. <laughs> what? How'd I get here? Oh, uh, they transferred you here last night from the hospital. You tried to kill yourself. Unsuccessfully, needless to add. Oh, shit. Then why did you say it, dummy? I'm writing a book on insanity. You should always write about something you know. You know? I'm calling it Fruitcakes I Have Known. There's two whole chapters, by the way, on suicide that would interest you. Did you know, for instance, that 50% of all f f female suicides have bleached hair and a hysterectomy scar? <laughs> you blue? Are you depressed? Yeah. Oh. I thought I'd wake up dead. They had no right to stop me like that. Ah, technically they did. They did have a right. It's against the law, you know, to kill yourself. You're kidding. Oh, I wouldn't kid. Are you kidding? No, you Why would you kid? Suicide's a serious thing. Shit, though. I never yeah. lied to you before, have I? No. See? Actually, the laws vary from state to state, but suicide is legislated against in most of them. It's all in the appendix of my book. It's a dumb law. I agree with you. I think it is very presumptuous of them to tell a person how they can die or even how they can live. It's a dumb law. It's a dumb law. Sane people make a lot of crazy rules. <laughs> Do you like me? Sure. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, I don't know you very well. Ah, uh, you know all there is to know. Are you kidding? I'm very superficial. You said it. I know I said it. Let me alone. <laughs> Are you rooming here with me? Me? Yeah. No. Oh. No. Actually, I'm in the south wing. Ta -da! The south wing. That's where they keep the dangerous ones. Are you dangerous? No. Yes! No. Don't listen to him. Actually, my father thought I was very dangerous. <laughs> I strangled him. You mm. mean... Like that? Ah, oh, no, more like that. I guess he was right about me being dangerous. <laughs> yeah, a lot of doctors have different theories about why I did it. Mother complex, father complex, feelings of inferiority, suppressed rage. But I, and I alone, know the reason that I did it. It was because he was so Polish. When I was a kid, I was tormented with Polish jokes. Oh, you know, who was Poland's man of the year? Nobody. I didn't sing the Polish national anthem. You don't sing it. You fought it. I didn't Polax identification by the shit in his wallet. Kids can be very cruel. What kids? My father told me those. He was always teasing me. He was a big, 
loud, hairy, sweaty, pot. He was covered with sweat, always. The only man that I know who could sweat while he was swimming. And I could never have friends over because he challenged them to a nose-picking contest and he always won. Got a minute? Sure. The last straw came when I finally brought home my... Girl. <laughs> you know, before I took her out to dinner, I knew I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. Yeah, when we got there, he was just sitting down in his favorite, sweaty undershirt, drinking beer, eating chili with his fingers, and watching celebrity bowling. At first, he was nice, you know. We were talking nice. And then, huh, he was so stupid. He said how he thought that Moby Dick was a venereal disease. I told him in a nice way what a stupid idiot he was. And then he told her that he thought that she was wasting her time with a, with a loser like me. So I put my hands around his 22 inch neck and I strangled him. <laughs> we never went out to dinner, needless to say, because I strangled them. <laughs> You'll say it like you're proud. Well, you didn't have the courage to do it. Stop it. No! Oh. <laughs> I feel sick. I feel sick. When I was a little kid, my mother left us. She just left us. I was a baby. She said, bye, bye. I have always respected her for that. <laughs> Do you think this country will ever switch to the metric system? <laughs>